Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. There are new developments in an Amber Alert issued in the Milwaukee area on Saturday. The update is that police, family and friends are still looking for three-year-old Major Harris, but they have found the SUV at the center of it all. Police loaded it onto a truck to check it for evidence, but there's still no sign of young Major. Don't lose hope and, you know, keep them in your best spirits. And I mean, I'm praying for you. And I'm pretty sure everyone's praying for you. So again, here is the picture of the missing boy. The suspect in the Amber Alert was found dead yesterday of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The young boy still missing. The boy's mother was found dead last week, and police believe that's when the boy was taken. In other news here, the community clothes closet is taking its mission on the road through its new traveling closet. It might look just like a truck from the outside. That's to a thanks to a $50,000 grant from the Basic Needs Giving Partnership. The closet will be able to bring free clothing to local boys and girls every month. Time now for a check of your forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. John, the beautiful weather continues. 70 today, right around 75 tomorrow. Sunshine mixing with a few clouds, as opposed to the 100% possible sunshine we saw today. A strong system moves across the area Wednesday and Thursday with some showers and maybe a thunderstorm. Also some gusty winds, and then behind that, turning much cooler as we head through this upcoming weekend. Highs only in the lower 50s, so actually below normal for a change, something we haven't seen in almost a month now. Not only that, we've got a threat for a hard freeze here Friday morning, Saturday morning, also Sunday morning, so that's something we will be watching as we get closer and closer to the weekend. Have a great night, everybody.